So if you know me, you know that I love history, all kinds of history. Uh, so I've always wanted to make like videos about some like cool and or funny stories I know. So for this first one, uh, this is one of my favorite ones. It's about how in World War II, the Allies threw out these like literal dummy paratroopers out of planes to confuse the shit out of Germans. Uh, and it was a pretty successful thing. Uh, so this was called Operation Titanic, right? Unlike the Titanic, this wasn't an absolute failure. So June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day, uh, if you don't know what that is, that's basically the first time the Allies invaded France. There was a whole bunch of paratrooper landings, a whole bunch of beach landings. If you saw Saving Private Ryan, that's what, that's, that's what it is, <laughs> right? So the little dummies, their code name was Rupert. Rupert, right? They called them Rupert. Rupert's job was to get thrown out of a plane at like two in the morning. And when it drops from the sky, the Germans are like, oh shit, those are real people. And they deploy their troops to like, you know, attack the enemy. Uh, but not only did they look like real paratroopers, they were also stuffed with like firecrackers kind of. Uh, so when they landed, they would set off and it would just sound like little gunshots. Uh, oh. So it confused the shit out of the Germans. Uh, but not only did they do that, they also dropped some actual British SAS troops and their job was to actually do damage, but they also had these like audio recordings with them. And those recordings were of like troops yelling, shouting, shooting. So again, the overall goal was just to confuse the shit out of Germans, right? So I'm like, imagine you're a German soldier just chilling and you look up in the sky, you hear planes and then, whoa, dropping down is some paratrooper. You can't tell it's a dummy, it's the middle of the night, right? And they land and you hear a bunch of gunshots and then you might look around and some other German soldiers are getting shot and you're like, oh my God. So now your job is to go report that. And then you sound the alarm and they send regiments over to deal with it. And then they're like, oh my God, these are dummies, <laughs> right? So it was overall, it was pretty successful. Sadly, like 11 of the SAS soldiers, I think, were either killed or captured. So there was actual human loss. Uh, but the overall goal hmm. of distracting the Germans, because they did send some regiments over to like deal with it. So it took some of the pressure off the actual paratrooper landings, the actual beach landings. So it did, they did a pretty good job, right? That's just one of the many deceptive things they did for D-Day. Like, there's a whole bunch of stories. Like, there's a whole story about, like, these inflatable tanks they use to the the Germans. I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'll make a video about it one day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first story. I want to make more videos like this because I think it's really fun. Uh, if you guys have any, like, other stories you want me to, like, talk about or research, I have a few. But if you have any... Uh, also, if you have any comments or corrections you want to make, I love learning. So, like, please feel free to write it down. Just don't be a dick, you know, when you comment. I, I'm not a history major. I'm not a history teacher. I just, like I said, I like history. So, so just let me know. I'm, I'm all for the interaction. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope to make some more.